let's see how we calculate the expected return. So I've included up here the standard formula for the expected return, which is just a summation of each assets in the portfolio's expected return multiplied by the weight of that asset. So you add that up for every asset in the portfolio. We'll show one example of a portfolio that contains two assets, A and B. Asset A has an expected return of 10% and is makes up 60% of the portfolio. Asset B has an expected return of 5% and makes up 40% of the portfolio. So to calculate the expected return on this portfolio, we'll just take the 10% expected return of asset A, multiply it by its weight of 60%, and then add the 5% expected return of asset B and multiply it by its weight of 40%, and we'll get a total portfolio expected return of 8%. Now that we've talked about how to calculate expected return, we need to focus on how can we calculate the portfolio's risk. And typically, portfolio risk is measured with the portfolio variance or variance or standard deviation, denoted by this sigma p. Now, variance is just the standard deviation squared, okay? So here's an example. Portfolio contains assets A and B. Asset A has a standard deviation of 10% and a weight of 60%. Uh, Asset B has a standard deviation of 5% and a weight of 40%. The covariance between A and B is 0.5. Now this is probably a formula you're gonna wanna memorize if you're taking any sort of quiz or test on the, um, the modern portfolio theory, okay? So the portfolio variance is equal to the weight of A squared times the standard deviation of A squared plus the weight of b squared times the standard deviation of b squared, plus two times the covariance of a and b times the weight of asset a, I should say asset a there, and the weight of asset b. Okay, so I'll work this really quick for you. So weight of asset a, 60%, so 0.6 squared, multiplied by the or the standard deviation, so 0.1 squared. Then we're gonna do the same thing for B, which is just 0.4 squared times 0.05 squared plus two times the covariance, which is 0.5, multiplied by the weights, so 0.6 and 0.4 and that gives us a total standard deviation or total portfolio variance of 0.244.